Hey, what's happening, Spider friends? Welcome back to Marvel's Spider-Man on the K-Wings Let's Plays channel. Marvelous! Don't forget to web-zip the like button, I don't know, and share this video with your friends. It's spider time, and today, uh, Amber was like, hey, can we use different suits? So, there you yeah. go. Scarlet Spider. Let's mix it up. Mixing it up with Ben Riley. A little bit. Mixing it up. So we can uh, equip new suits it, with suit powers. Oh my gosh, he looks so weird. He kind of looks like he's missing his pants. Yeah, trying to read here. Oh, uh, okay, sorry. so it said that we can actually change suit powers. Yeah. So these are the different suit powers that we have available. That's from the Scarlet Spider. It's called a uh, Halo decoy or whatever. And that is Blitz. That's the Velocity Suit's power. Ooh. So the Velocity Suit. It runs faster and moves faster. What? Does he have bullet bracelets? No, that's his web shooters. They, ben Riley put it on the outside of his suit. Oh, uh, okay. That's what the web shooters look like. They're just, you don't see it because it's underneath Spider-Man's costume. Oh. But Ben put it over his costume. It was the 90s. Oh, he's trying to be cool. Yep. And speaking of cool, we're actually uh, getting some free flow focus stuff, or as they call it, boost or whatever in this game. <laughs> like that, that, that kind of that guy going, I have the power. It's kind of fun, isn't it? Yeah, with his arms like that. And we need a little bit more stealth. So there we go. That suit looks pretty cool. Spider stealth. He also had a utility belt, just well, like the looks, uh, 70s Spider-Man. It Spider -Man. looks like he has red skin and he's missing his pants. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure you haven't left any equipment you built for your friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the Grand Committee stops by again. Don't worry, Doc. I make a point not to leave anything there. But I know my friend appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like Ooh. him very much. Whoops. Friend? That buffoon Jameson and his audience of sheep, please. The people who do great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their way. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care. Whoops. Wow. I'm just, I'm off my game today. It's the suit. I'm just distracted why... It looks so good. Yeah, I actually made somebody uh, laugh really loud at the grocery store today. Attention units, need response to a break-in. Incident is active. Let's respond to a break-in. Okay, do you know what I said? No. Okay, so there's like this thing. Okay, there's this no, thing on my belt. Yeah. And it like literally is like a triangle on the belt that's supposed to help push groceries towards me. But in reality, it ends up crushing groceries on the belt. So whenever I see eggs, I have to stop the belt really quick before the eggs get crushed. So basically, like, um, first of all, the customer was laughing because I said that, even though that's not even that funny. But apparently it was compared to the grocery store because there's nobody funny at the grocery store. No offense. But it's mainly just a bunch of people that are really tired just trying to get their food and get home with screaming kids all over the place. Times Square. Ooh, Times Square. And then after that, so I said, I don't even know what that thing's for. I said, it basically, all it does is crush eggs and bread. And then I said... Hmm, it should have a name, and then I'm like, I call it the Egg Crusher, and then the person laughed out loud. But the way I said it was like, Egg Crusher. You did it like the Skylanders thing? <laughs> yes, oh and they laughed, gosh. they laughed really loud, and then, uh, I felt a little awkward because it was a person, like a guy, and their girlfriend was standing right there, and then I was just like, oh, crap. I don't know. And then I said something nice to her, like, oh, thanks so much for helping me bag, and you guys have a great day. And I smiled at her, and then they both had a nice day. Ooh, beautiful smile. Because you should never, like, laugh with somebody's boyfriend and then not, then totally ignore the girl, because that's really wrong, and it, it kind of makes you look like you're kind of hitting on their guy, so you have to make sure you talk to the Thug? Them. Where are the thugs? All, everything's proceeding according to plan. Thank you for saying I have a nice smile. Thank you. Yep, yep. Okay, so let's uh, see what's going on in this part of the uh, Big Apple. Oh, Whoa. this again. Oh, almost there. Almost, nope. Oh, come on! Can we just, like, it. get rid of this? We'll never bring back the, uh, the D, whatever the stupid thing is, the... Uh, sequencer thing yeah it, it needs to be it, it was around during arkham it needs to not come back in the next spider-man game you're, you're changing the frequency of the wavelength and also the out the height uh well you know what i can't remember the different Ow. terms of the wave wavelength is like one one top to another top of the wave 
Drug deals. I don't know if they go together like cheese and milk. You guys are like little kingpins in training. So cute. Oh, you know he's in trouble. Did you just shoot me? What do you mean, car move it? You're not getting in the car, Mr. Tracksuit. You just hit that guy. That's a hit and run. Get back here. Yep, totally. But you know what, Luke? Oh, I'll tell you later. Your shocks need work. Mm. Yeah, that guy's car looks kind of beat up. Yeah, but this Spider-Man's not going to damage his car. That is just rude. Bye-bye. Whoa, where did that guy go? Uh, he got whipped up to a building. Whipped. I I think that you should say, like, let's whip the like button. I like swing into action, but... Swing yeah. into... Whip the like button. Somebody had a... Knocking the ever-loving stuffing out of dealers is my anti drug Yeah, okay. someone in the comments said swing into action. That was my favorite. Yeah, I like swing into action, too. Oh, really such good. a beautiful church. I think that is St. Peter's, either St. Petersburg or St. Peter's Church. Super famous, and they have really ah. nice uh, Christmas Eve services there with all kinds of singing and instruments and everything. Which I always wanted to go with you and go to a, like a Christmas Eve service at that church, but you don't like going out at night. So can people stop like saying I'm a vigilante then? Because I don't really, I'm active at night. Well, I'm just not. You don't go out at night that no. I see. Oh come on. <laughs> Uh, Although a guy with my uh, illness would make a, a pretty yeah. convincing story. Or do you have an illness? Maybe you say you do. What? Well, no, uh, I know you you do. Okay, yeah. that's kind of a weird thing to joke about. Yeah, well, sometimes uh, levity is a good thing. Yeah. The reason I'm probably still alive is because I laugh so much. <laughs> Laughing helps with a certain cells in your body fight diseases. I never knew that. Yeah, it does. It also helps with blood pressure and... Well, that explains why my blood pressure is manageable. I need to get you to laugh more. Mm. Actually, that might be why you're still alive, too. Yeah, my blood pressure probably would have been a lot worse without... If I hadn't married you, I probably would have been, like, a stressed out, like... All you have to do is walk through the door and you start laughing as soon as you see this face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, as soon as I get through the door, I, I look at you and I'm just like... Oh, you still look like that, huh? <laughs> no, I'm just... <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> just... That's mean. <laughs> then why did you say it if it's mean? I don't know. I was just. I know the mean. truth hurts, but come on. <laughs> oh. So we have all these new people asking for face reveals. Uh, Amber and I have done like Christmas with the K Wings. If you want to see vlogs, we used to do vlogs more uh, currently, but yeah. we don't really. We, well, our one network told us to do vlogs on a different channel. That was a K Wave channel. Yeah. But maybe we should put vlogs on this channel. I really I think we should. We have Ooh, Jameson. Information caller who thinks we're better off thanks to Spider. <laughs> Let's see if I can set her straight. You're on with Jay Jonah Jameson. I just want to say that I've never seen Manhattan so safe and peaceful. Compare what it was like when Spider-Man first showed up to now. Okay, fair enough. I will. Then we had police and firefighters doing a wonderful job. There was crime, sure, but nothing they couldn't. Oh, okay, JJ is having a field day. Of course, we do have things now we didn't have then. Maniacs who shoot electricity out of their eyes. <laughs> Walking miles of sand. Nazis made of bees! Didn't Spider-Man put all those guys in jail? You're missing the point! They didn't exist before he came along. At best, he attracts them. But I've often wondered if they're in cahoots. Wow. Okay, that was. I, I'm sorry to cut that off, but that was great. I, hey, look, it's Shocker. Hi, Herman. Seriously. Whoa. The that, Shocker. That guy looks cool. He's, he does. Yeah, he was in the last Spider-Man game we were playing. He's been in a couple. He looked like Quilt Man there. The cushion. Yeah. The couch cushion. No, no, no! We're stuck! Oh, come on! Oh my gosh! Ah. I've never seen... What? That bridge? No, that structure that looks like something I thought they were going to build in New York City recently. No, they, they built that a That's long time ago. That's been a long time ago? Oh, yeah. Doesn't that look like the Ark of Triumph? Ark de Triumph? It's kind supposed of. to be... It's supposed to be a replica of some kind of, like, ancient structure, I think. Yep. I've never been there. The only to now? Well, we haven't, like, 
<laughs> Mr. Shocker. We haven't seen all of New York City. Yeah, we always are in the same area. We always go to the, the financial district or the, um, uh, what do they call it? What did Danny um, and Evelyn call it? Financial district and... Midtown. Midtown. Yeah. Yep. There are so many different parts. I really want to take you to the, uh, the museum in New York City. Like, the one that was in that Ben Stiller movie. Mm, that's, yeah. That's the real... The, the Museum of Natural, natural History. Science and it? Natural History or something. Isn't that what it's called? Yeah, it definitely has natural history in the title. Because the Smithsonian is in Maryland, right? Yeah. Washington, I, D.C. I don't know. Okay, that'll be enough of that shocker. Gotcha. Now let's talk. Ooh. Oops. Noted. Noted. <laughs> Done talking. Mm, the shocker looks cooler in this. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing yeah, it does. Again? You know the police One. are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone. Or for someone. You can tell me who it is now. Whoa. Or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Hmm. Whoop. It's not enough. It's never enough. Whoops, almost got hit by a cab there. So Spider-Man is going to punch crime in the Staying face? Away. Nah, that's that other guy with 20 <laughs> years and a cape. I feel like Spider-Man has the same personality as Nightwing. They're both yes, he does. Extremely chatty. Yep. It actually helps uh, annoy criminals. Yep. What is exactly? Yeah, he's just chatting. He's toying with them, or he calls it, like, just... Aww. Aww, Shocker escaped? Yeah, he was kind of fast. No. All right, let's try this again. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every Okay, room. you guys heard this already. I mean, hmm. So, kind of dumb, what's cool about this is it shows that Spider-Man actually cares for his... He's kind of like Flash in that sense. Like, he really cares about the well-being of the bad guys, and not all of them are bad by choice. Oh, yeah. Like, Shocker's a bank robber. Kind of like how Batman actually, like, some... He doesn't let people know, though. Some some uh, some criminals, Batman actually helps rehabilitate up. and get tries to get them a job. As Bruce Wayne. Yes, he doesn't let them know that he's doing it as Batman. No, but Spider-Man, you know, Spider-Man really helps people. Like yeah. we saw with that lady at the mission. All right, you're done. Uh oh. Oh, the shocker suit looks cool. Yeah, it does. Best shocker suit ever. You have like zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? I know. <laughs> Guess he's not in a chatty mood. Maybe later. Sweet. I like Boba Fett. He looks cool. It does well. I don't well, know. Well, not like Boba quite Fett. like Boba Fett, but he looks cool. Bye, shocker. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate oh. you. Oh. Ouch. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Hmm. <laughs> Poor Spidey. Well, at least uh, Mary Jane doesn't have anything to worry about with him Looks like I got liking her. Maybe They're now's broken up. Time to look into that mask. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's oh speak MJ. <clears throat> Hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. That is cool. Good. You yeah. two need to be back together. Well, I was like, wait, they're going to dinner, but they're not together? Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Friend zone. Haha! <laughs> he's eating a snack! Mm, he is eating a snack, a little bagel with cream cheese. Latte there. Yeah. They should have had him pull up his mask, though. 
I know. How can he eat with his mask on? Welcome to feast. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. Okay, so we're going to go up the stairs. We haven't been up this way before. So Mr. Lee runs a homeless shelter? I don't really understand. I think he has several businesses. Or this is just what he does on the side. I don't know. I mean, this place looks like it costs a lot of money. Mm. Veteran homelessness is down, but still way too high. Good thing my buddy Flash Thompson's doing his best to fix that. Buddy Flash Thompson? I thought you guys don't like each other. Hey, there's a chapel, but we can't go inside. Believe. What does that say? Believe? Believe you, you can, can, and you are halfway, halfway there? there? Why wouldn't you believe you're all the way there? If you say you're halfway there, then you'll always just be halfway there. Yeah, that doesn't feel like very good positive thinking. No, it's not. That's kind of weird. I don't... I I mean, you and I, when we went to... Every time we go to California, there's tons of homeless people everywhere. Yeah, there is. But it's very sad. I was going to say something about New York, but Peter, I'll wait. What can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece... Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Come see what you have. I like him. He is so happy and smiley. Ah! Freaky. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. What, what is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Oh, no. Demon? What? Uh, my father read me ghost stories uh, that mask and symbol in it. Just a hunch. Scared the hell out of me. Let's just say... Here, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. It is connected. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? Uh, I don't know. Yes! Why take the risk? Come on, Peter, the clues are there, dude. Wait, are you saying Mr. Lee is the head of that gang? Or is a part of it? How do you know? The t atmosphere Just... of the scene totally changed. Hey, the symbol inside yeah. the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. Mm. He said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? Oh my god. No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Mm, yeah. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. My spider sense is going off. I just... Well, the way he acted, either he really hated that childhood story or he knows who that gang is. Yeah, he... <clears throat> but what I was going to say is, I didn't... I mean, we only went... We're usually only in one part of New York City, but there are not that many homeless people there. New York City combats homelessness better than any other city in the country. That's yep. just a fact. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I really hope he's not the bad guy because he's so nice i know i like him he's so nice that would make he has such a warm happy um comforting smile and he's so kind to people like that's what i the feeling i get it's like kind of when you watch um oh my gosh jack frost with michael keaton the family is so happy and so loving and then it's just like you know something's gonna go wrong and it's like no the first jack frost movie i've never seen the others because oh yeah the other movies are not good i'll let you sorry that. i just like totally no that's fine hit that's the fine. mic that's fine no i just this is my problem with covering superhero games for so long, especially Batman. It's like my little detective senses are going mm, off. Maybe just... the re yeah, maybe the reason why he said cover a different story is he wouldn't want Mary Jane to get hurt. Exactly. He's showing concern Be for Peter and Peter's ex-girlfriend. Because he, maybe he knows who the gang is. Of course or... he did. He recognized it. You just saw it. You could see it in his eyes. He started to sweat a little bit. His pores were, you know, it, it, it just be... I don't want him to do that because I've already introduced Otto Octavius. If they make Mr. Lee a bad guy too, then this is like one of the most predictable plots in a game 
that I've played in years. And I don't want them to do that, because mm. Mr. Lee is a great good guy character. Also, he looks like Jim Lee. I know, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. And I love Jim Lee. Well, I mean... <sighs> Aunt May, can't talk. A little busy. Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry, I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. He talked to May? By how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated oh, you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Oh my gosh, the foreshadowing is too much. Come on, game. Please. I want to be wrong. I better be wrong. Well, I mean, he doesn't really look exactly like... But yeah, he has the same name as Jim Lee, and he has the same... He looks like Jim he Lee. He has a very nice Hello? smile. Hello? Peter. Yeah. It's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I didn't forget, forget. I just... Uh, I'll be there soon. His tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. Uh, no, he's not. He has the same worm happy mannerisms. Yeah, it's just the, the problem I have. Okay, they've introduced Otto, and he's a really good friend of Peter's, and there's no Doctor Octopus in this universe yet, right? Mm -hmm. And then so, you have Mister Lee, who I don't believe that's Japanese. I think he's Chinese. And then you have this Chinese gang that appears wearing the same suits as Mister Lee. He recognizes the mask. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I want to be wrong. I think, yeah, I think that is. A, I. It probably is Amber. I'm I'm hardly wrong. All right. Well, now Luke's whole demeanor has changed. Sadness. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. It pro I don't know. I mean, he seems really nice. Why would he be a bad guy and run an entire homeless shelter out of the goodness of his heart? Unless he was running the homeless shelter to basically show that he was a good guy. So he could, on the side, do the bad stuff. Mm, as a front, yeah. This is what I get for being a Batman fan. a very expensive front, because that takes a lot of money to, to help people that have no home. Unless he's a massive crime lord in Asia, and this is where he shows his humanitarian side. I don't know. It's Remember, Kingpin is just I well known in New York City. He's never expanded his amp empire outside of New York. Yeah. If the demons are like a giant crime lord organization in Asia. Like the Foot Clan. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> I want a Turtles game like this now. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, I want a Turtles game like this. Would it be all in the sewers? <laughs> Wouldn't? No. No, they can do stuff in the city yeah, at night. Right. They can Ninja go, flipping off buildings. They can go out for pizza and stuff if they're in their little uh, trench coats. Yes! <laughs> Yeah, that would be cool. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to change my demeanor. I just feel disappointed. No, and we haven't even gotten you that can far yet. Change it. It's cute that you're like so worried about it. I also like. I feel like more people in the world need to be like Mr. Lee in this game. It he remind his whole demeanor reminds me of my grandfather. I think that would make me more upset than when we figured out who Jason Todd was in Arkham but Arkham Knight. The reason why I don't like. Yeah, Mr. Lee makes a great good guy. The reason why I don't like them turning really happy people into bad guys is it kind of gives you a subliminal message. It kind of reinforces the idea like there are no good people in the world. Every person who's nice, every person who acts really nice to you is really hiding something. What? what? Why are they running away? Well, this is different. Know. I've never had this happen. Why would they run from Spider-Man? I don't know. You know, I'm actually thinking of a... Uh, Maybe live streaming on the O1 channel, like this yeah. game. Yeah, that would be cool. No way am I finding that guy? Yeah, now. you should, and then you could tell people about this series. <laughs> you mean cross promote? Oh uh, yeah. Maybe I should. Yeah. But the thing is, would they be very receptive of this? Because Spider-Man is a complete contrast of Batman. Um, isn't every other Arkham channel? No. Like, gushing over Spider-Man? <laughs> no, only people who weren't really attached to the Arkham community are. People oh. who said they were part of the Arkham community, but. 
they're like strictly Marvel and DC fans. They're not full DC fans. Yeah. Well, but then again, I covered Marvel games on the Let's Play channel, so I mean, yeah, I don't know. Well, you are a DC fan at heart, though. Oh, big, big fan. I mean, I probably shouldn't say this on this. What? But, uh, what is going on? You know what? This is good that I get to actually beat up people because I. Be more careful with my adoring public. What uncover undercover Fisk thugs? Try saying that five times fast. Well, the thing is, I don't like it when people just take a nice character's kind and make them bad because it reinforces the idea in people's minds that nobody is really good. There it's are just no. it, the the problem I have with it is, like I said, they introduced Doc Ock, right? And you know that something's going to happen, and he's going to become Doctor Octopus just by the setting, finding out Peter's identity, sort of, and you know. But then on top of that, you have the Mister Lee character who's been taking care of Aunt May for five years. Yeah. He's done all this great thing for the city. It's hard for me to uh, believe that someone that kind could do it because it just doesn't make sense to me. And I I disagree with the mentality like, oh, people always want to get something. No one's really a good person. That's the problem I have that's, with it, yeah. That's what I don't like, because in reality, I know people that, no matter how bad their lives are, they still try to take care of their loved ones, they try to do the right thing, and they've never done anything to hurt anyone, no matter what happened to them. There are genuine good people in the world. And I've actually and, been scary good at avoiding spoilers for this game. Like, yeah. I hardly go on Twitter or YouTube at all, except for a channel. Yep. Yeah, sure, the situation's under control, but... I'm not going to lament over it the whole series because, I mean, th this and, game... Okay, what also bothers me is that, you know, people who move to Japan and different Asian countries, they're like, wow, because the, you know, Asian culture is like a culture where people are just generally kind. It's a culture where there's the, you know, people care about their family honor and their personal honor so much. Ah! Ah! The all-seeing eye. Uh, yeah, exactly. But I'm saying, like, I'm not trying to make stereotypes, but Asian people are so kind and so helpful and so genuine that it's just, I wish people could see that that's how they are and not, like, you know, that would make me really sad for him. I like him so much as a person, as a homeless shelter person that, yeah. Okay, so this is uh, something I've done, like, just on my free roaming file that, you know, is not progressing the story so we can show, like, um, costumes and stuff. Yeah. You run across an accident like this and you can help people. It's got, like, a... definitely a Spider-Man slash Superman vibe. You know? I, I like that Superman... or Spidey is, like, so... Uh, hopeful and he brings like a lot of joy to the city of New York because you have this bright colored hero running around helping people yeah you know but there are still people that don't like him like JJ and some citizens but I feel like JJ is being like way too nice like in reality radio talk show hosts are not not that like it feels like he's being mean but in a nice way he's uh, using sarcasm it's New York City Oh, okay. Because I was just like, you would think he would just outright attack him and say hateful oh, things. That guy. We can interact with him. Watch this. Nice to see you, dude. Good to have you in our corner, man. Shoot a web. Shoot, shoot a web. Uh. What? Shoot okay. a web? There. Shouldn't you be? Like I didn't even care that you shot a web. That's what happens when you meet celebrities. They just, you know. Yeah, you give them everything, and then it's like, oh, the magic is over. It's like, oh, I met them. <laughs> yep. Like, hey, it's like, got a oh, of wait. Might have heard about the robbery at Roseman's auction house. That's... What you probably didn't hear, but my sources confirm, is that the perpetrators were wearing masks. Horrible, demonic faces. Yet another example of the explosion in mass criminals since Spider-Man came on the scene. Let's hear your thoughts. Here on with J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, I see your point, but Spider-Man stopped those guys today. Saying he's like them because he wears a mask isn't fair. It's like prejudice. Wrong. Here's a little lesson in the English language, my friend. Oh, no. Prejudice means to prejudge someone before you know anything about them. I know all I need to about Spider-Man. <laughs> He runs around causing chaos, wearing a mask so he doesn't have to answer for his shenanigans, and a flashy costume so he gets attention to feed his gigantic, insatiable ego. Wow. Now, if I'm a mentally unstable person, and I see him getting all this coverage, what am I going to do? It's called copycat behavior, people. 
and it's ruining New York. It kind wow. of has a point, though. Yeah, a little bit. JJ's pretty smart. Like, I thought he was just, like, an angry, uh... I never would have thought him, like, a Rush Limbaugh, like, talk show host. I thought he was, like, a newspaper editor. Or editor-in-chief, sorry. Oh, yeah, because he's doing talk show. Yeah, exactly. Like, why is he doing call-in type... I guess he retired from the Bugle, and that's what he wants to do with his retirement? I don't know. <laughs> it's hard for me to, like, think of J.J. J. Jonah Jameson as a new voice, because I'm so used to him being that one voice. Yep. It's... When Spider Cop's on the job, Spider Cop's back! Come hell or high water, <laughs> the job gets... Nope, nope, nope. Nope. She'd never admit it, but the chief was warming I up love to this. Spider Cop. His casual disregard for by the book thinking was a breath of fresh air. She'd come around someday. That is so great. I love Wait. Spider Cop. It's the best bit in this game. Spider Cop, he's doing like um a gumshoe like yeah. old forties like Yep. Uh and is that supposed to be Peter pretending to be that guy or no. he's doing a bit of a possible kidnapping. Backup needed in the meatpacking district. Okay. Over. Sp I'll set my earpiece to focus on muffled voices. Spider Cot's just a bit. It's funny. Okay. He's right. messing with her. I'm sorry. Don't, don't take the joke too seriously. Then it. Uh, what? You no, have to explain glitch. the joke. There is no exactly. joke. Exactly. I'm sorry. Spider Cop's amazing. Not much to go on, but the kidnapping victim must be close. Kidnapping victim. Spider Cop is fun. Wait. Wait. Uh, what there do you are, mean, there kidnapping? are kidnappings in this too. Weird. So, carjackings, drug dealing, uh, now kidnapping. Isn't New York City so clean, though, compared to, like, so many places? Oh, yeah. I mean, yes, there are places of it that, you know, have trash around and stuff. But, I mean, like, the, you know, the, the sweepers and the people that collect trash and everything, like, they're, like, on the ball. Like, it gets cleaned up so fast. Hmm. Like it's so well organized. I feel like he's being held in a car trunk. Okay, like look for something that's out of the ordinary. It says he's being held in a car trunk. I hear him. Well, especially there. Oh yeah, there is somebody in there. Hold on, I'll get you out. Oh, my gosh. oh did I hurt those civilians? I'm Wait, sorry. They didn't even tie that guy up. Those are the guys who did they it. They just stuffed him in the trunk. Apparently, who did it? Oh, where? They're right there. Yeah. Whoa! They were hiding in the crowd. I guess hiding in plain sight. Yeah, I mean, that's the best way to do it, I guess. Oh, there we go. There's the velocity power. I'll have to show that velocity suit. I think so we'll do a, a showcase of that. You can take powers from one suit and transfer them to another? Yeah. Whoa. That was something that I believe they've been working on since after the... Or... After one of the years that they announced the game. Okay, that was kind of lame. Ow. That's great, great. Bye-bye, Mr. Crowbar. Wait, I wonder if some of these buildings are actual names of actual places. Yes, they are. This is, like, the most accurate free-roaming New York City ever. Whoa. Okay, so, anyway, guys and gals, that is gonna do it for this spectacular episode of Marvel Spider-Man. Don't forget to like, Yay. comment, subscribe. Tell us what you think about the Scarlet Spider suit, and if there's a costume that you would like to see us do a video on in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later today with more Spider-Man. God bless Navigaming. See ya!